Kate was here in my country house, like I died. There's always a new reason to drive all the way to Tagaytay, and it usually has something to do with food. Check out the new restaurant, My Country House Tagaytay, which is right beside Farmer's Table. It's managed by the Raintree Hospitality Group, the people behind popular Manila restaurants such as Jones All Day, Sabaten, Provador, and Jotamate. My Country House Tagaytay is open daily from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. This place ticks everything off my list of restaurant must-haves. Hidden location, check. Heirloom recipes, check. Family style serving, check. Alfresco dining, check. Instagrammable garden nooks, check. Pet friendly, double check. Whoa, wait a minute. Is that a dog or a chicken? More on that later. Let's listen to a little backstory. I had a nice chat with Raintree VP Martin Wisniewski, who told me that this place used to be somebody's vacation home which was transformed into a dining destination and events venue. Oh, and you were saying that this used to be a residential Yes, yes. Area. So it was someone's uh, summer residence or weekend residence. And they came over to Farmer's Table one day. They ate the food. They loved it so much that they decided, oh, it's time to make this into a restaurant. So, so we did it right away. <laughs> This were right next door. And the, the garden setting, uh, we used to think it was just a pandemic thing, right? But for some reason, it's, it's looks yeah, like it's a still permanent love, thing. Yeah, people still love, number one, the cool air of Tagaytay. And they just love, you know, a lot of people live in condos nowadays and, and city centers and villages. So they want to see, they want to see grass and trees and, and a nice garden too. And farm animals. Yes. Oh, like, tell me about the chickens. Yeah. So we have Ike, <laughs> we have three silky, uh, American silky chickens, Ike, Tina, and Gonzo. And you have to come. They'll have an Instagram page soon. And they're and the, then, the and mascots. The, yeah, they're basically the mascots. We're gonna, we have turtles and fish and, and a dog and all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I'm not having chicken today. <laughs> okay, what to order? Mmm, bread, pastries, desserts. No, 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 no. Desserts later. Let's start with some appetizers. For starters, we had some cheese gougere, parmesan and basil cheese puffs stuffed with cream cheese. Six pieces to share. For our smooth blends, my mother had a healthy, jolly green monster, while I had a dalandan with Thai basil and cucumber. Mmm, refreshing. For soup, we had lobster and seafood bisque en croute, which means the soup is served in a pastry crust. And more edible flowers, a signature touch of both farmer's table next door and my country house, Tagaytay. Something from the grill, bruschette or skewers of Pacific scallops, tiger prawns, salmon, and calamari with veggies in between and two kinds of dip. And for my favorite entree everywhere I travel, salmon. <gasps> this one's called Chef's Famous Melting Salmon, served Asian style with herb relish and red and white miso sauce. So we're gonna try the melting We ordered some sides, such as creamy potato puree and sweet miso carrots and honey and pistachios. And oh, that's not a side dish. That's my mom's steak to share and another view of my melting salmon. 
for my second drink, I had the Booster, which is a blend of bananas, blueberries, matcha powder, coconut milk, vanilla protein powder, and honey. It's as energizing as it sounds. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good paella? This one's saffron seafood. Good for two to three. I spoke with Chef Arnold Gazon, who talked about their other Filipino heritage recipes. You know, the kind you'll find in your Lola or your mom's secret recipe book, such as the Sunday Pochero and the Lengua Estofado. Don't worry, non-carnivores, there are plenty of vegetarian and flexitarian options in the menu, which you can peep at their Facebook page. So Chef Arnold, tell me, what makes heirloom recipes so special? Pagluluto noon is different sa ngayon. So doon binibase ko yung pagluluto na yung longer cooking time mm -hmm. para talaga intention flavor, papasok sa loob na madaling o baga pag kinain mo siya, ma-appreciate mo. Of course, I didn't forget about dessert. <laughs> Chef recommended the canonigo, fluffy white eggs with dulce de leche. And how could you not peek at the cake display and choose something to your liking? I got Grandma's recipe chocolate, which did remind me of my Lola Belen's sweet baking every Sunday with all of her grandchildren. I paired that with a cappuccino and my day was made. With a sprawling garden like this, how could you not Instagram to your heart's content? After you're done eating, stay a while to meet the derpy silky chickens, <laughs> snap a dozen photos, and before you head home, buy some pasalupo. Okay, I'll have some bottle to you. A loaf of bread, a new plant, and maybe a few more pastries. Thanks for watching Kate Was Here. Subscribe to my vlog and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.